Hey guys, back out here in the garage today with everyone's favorite YouTube truck build, Tacundra. This is only a halfway update because I really only like to give it a new number if I make actual physical progress, and that I can assure you has not happened. And here's why. This is a lot of the wiring out of the Tundra. This might look like a joke to you, but it's really not. Me and Bear went over and pulled all this stuff out so I'd have it right here so I could physically work with it because some of these wires I'm not really 100% sure of, so I wanna be able to check them and actually see where they go. I don't even know where to start. Where should I start? Okay, all right, okay. I already figured out where all the wires go from that 824 plug. I know where I gotta connect them inside the cab. So that I'm not worried about. However, there's a lot of other wires that I still wasn't sure about. I just made a decision on the four wheel drive computers. We're going to use the Tundra four wheel drive computer. And I got that right here and I got all this wiring broke open for it too. The reason I decided to stick with this from the Tundra is because it did have one extra circuit in it that the Tacoma's four wheel drive computer did not have. So for sure, stick with the Tundra four wheel drive computer. On the side note, if your Tacoma has a TRD off-road package with the electric rear locker, that's not gonna work then, at least not like it should from factory because that does run through your Tacoma four-wheel drive ECU. Once you switch to the Tundra four-wheel drive ECU, you're gonna lose that function because the Tundras apparently came with a limited slip only. They didn't come with electric locker option. So keep that in mind. You will have to wire that up like independently from the four-wheel drive computer. I'm sure that's totally doable and that would be the way to go anyway. Then you can flip it on when you're in two wheel drive or four high, otherwise you're limited. You can only use it in four low. But in my opinion, you probably wanna get rid of that rear end anyway, because that locking rear is the less reliable rear end. The diagrams didn't really show me where all the plugs were that this thing runs through. So that's why I had to open all this up and figure it out for myself. Here's this junction box that came out of the Tundra that we're gonna put in the Tacoma. These are just junction connectors, so there's no actual wires there. These are just circuits that are being made in this plug. That's where two of the extra plugs go that go into this. They just end there. This little blue plug is called the A45 plug, and the other end of this on the engine harness is called the D73 plug. And there's only a couple wires. I think there's only five wires in this, and I got those all mapped out. This was the extra plug that is not on my diagrams anywhere, and as you can see, there are a lot of wires running to it. It's not on the diagrams anywhere, but it does run through the engine harness. So I'm just realizing a lot of the wires from this four wheel drive computer are running through this plug. And the good news is that these are already hooked up. So a lot of these wires, I don't even have to splice. I'm just gonna let them wired up to that. There are a few that I have to wire up in the truck, but I think only like five or six of them actually need hooked up in the truck which should be pretty easy because there's a plug in there that ran to the four wheel drive computer for the Tacoma. So I just got to splice into some of those wires and connect them to this plug. Should be pretty simple. So I'd say I got the bulk of the wiring figured out. However, there's these two plugs right here. These wires are attached to the engine harness and these ran into the Tundra fuse box and they do not plug right into the Tacoma's fuse box. However, the Tacoma did have a couple plugs running in there too. So I'm thinking most of these wires are probably gonna transfer over. I'll just have to cut the plugs off of the harness that came out of the Tacoma and put those plugs on here instead. But I'm still having some trouble figuring out all these wires. I got about half of them figured out. It seems as though the important ones, they're power. This is where it's getting power from. Obviously it's running into the fuse box. So I know like injectors get power from here. Fuck. This has been taking a lot of time. I really wanna make sure I get all this right before I start wiring. I wanna make sure I'm on the right track. Another thought that I had was just put all the Tundra wiring in here and then make that adapt to run the Tacoma dashboard and stuff like that. But holy shit, that would be crazy. 
If this swap was going into an older truck, like a pre-Tacoma truck or even a pre-05, I think that would probably be the way to go. Uh, I'm guessing anyway, because there's so many more features and stuff. But these trucks are pretty similar. The 05 Tacoma and the 07 Tundra have a lot of the same features. The buttons and, you know, like the switch for the four wheel drive is pretty much the same. Uh, even the gas pedal is pretty much the same, you know, to run the drive by wire. And that's why I figured this swap is gonna work good for this truck as opposed to like an older Tacoma or just an older pickup or whatever. I think this is as close as it gets to a direct like drop in or whatever. Of course, we all know this didn't drop right in, but hey, hopefully the wiring won't be terrible. It's gonna suck, but it shouldn't be too bad. And you know what? I never use shrink wrap usually. I just electrical tape everything. But for this, I actually just went and bought a bunch of shrink wrap. So I'm really gonna try to do it right. I don't wanna have problems down the road with wires coming apart. You know, that's bad news. No one wants to deal with that. Anyway, right now I'm about to run down to the shop. That's where my old swap is still sitting. I haven't got rid of it yet. I'm not trying to get rid of anything until I see this thing run and know that everything's right. I'm gonna have to map out those plugs and then I might have to dig this open and figure out where all these wires go. Unfortunately though, it's not gonna be real easy because I popped this out. I thought maybe this was like some kind of control box or something, but once I pulled it out of there, I look and it's just like a trans, Former. I don't know how to explain that. Um, it must be like a junction connector within a plug. It's like an adapter. So it actually plugs in in here. So you plug in a plug there and then this plugs into this. I don't really even understand that. I've never seen anything quite like that, but it must connect wires inside it. So I'm not too thrilled about that. That's not gonna make it easy for me to figure out where these wires go. So I might have to just plug that in and start checking for continuity to fuses and stuff like that. I'll be figuring all that out soon. And there are two more plugs here, one little one and one about the size of these. And yes, I did check and these do not plug in. Wouldn't that be sweet if they just plug in? You know, if this was like a 90s Honda, that would plug right in there and we'd be set. <laughs> Those were the good old days. It's getting close. I don't know the exact dates, but I know the one year anniversary is coming up from when I bought the Tundra. It would be amazing to see this thing run on that one year anniversary, but fuck, I don't wanna make any promises but I'm gonna be working on this as much as I can. Unfortunately though, I also own a used car dealership and this is just starting our busy season down there because people are getting their tax returns and we sell cheap cars. A lot of people wanna come in and blow those tax returns right away. So my time is gonna to have to be divided a little bit down there from what I'm usually doing up here at the house, making videos and stuff. As much as I love to make videos, I gotta keep my eyes on the prize down there and keep that place running too. Although I gotta say, my manager Greg, he's doing a good job. I got Tim down there helping out too. Those guys are great. My main two men down there, and they are doing a great job. Shots out to them. I know they're always watching these videos. I'm gonna head over there right now and check out the harness on the Tacoma engine and see if I can match up some of the wires. I'd have to run to this one. <laughs> 